Hello, this is Mr. McGovern, and in the second video in the electric circuit series, I'm going to introduce you to series and parallel circuits. So there's two different ways of connecting up um, a circuit when you've got two bulbs in that circuit. So one way is you just put the bulb one after another, um, and this is what it looks like if you were to actually make the circuit using components. And this is called a series circuit. So a definition for a series circuit is that the bulbs are in the same electrical path. The other way of connecting up two bulbs in a circuit is called a parallel circuit. Right, so this is uh, the circuit symbols of what it looks like, and this is what, how you'd put it together. You can see at this point here, there's, um, the plugs are plugged into each other, and what that does is it meets, at the point where they're all plugged into each other, there's a junction, and it means there's another path for electricity to flow. This is called a parallel circuit. So this is where bulbs are in a different electrical path. So these two bulbs here, you can see um, electricity can flow out of the battery and it can choose to go in one path or it can choose to go in another path and then it joins up again. I sometimes call the paths branches um, and so you'll hear me switch back and forth between the language of paths or branches but it still means the same thing It's part of a parallel circuit. So that's the circuit I just showed you. You could also set up a parallel circuit exactly the same and make those junctions instead of at the bulb you could make the junctions at the power supply. So you can plug things um, doubly into the power supply, and that means at the power supply, there's the junction and there's the two paths you can choose. So that might look like this circuit diagram here, where electricity comes out of the bulb, uh, sorry, out of the power supply, and the junction is a lot closer to it, and then it can choose to go through one bulb, or it choose can go through the, um, the second bulb. Now it turns out that those circuits, even though they look slightly different, they are equivalent. So circuits that may look different but have exactly the same electrical properties are called equivalent circuits. So I've got um, a couple of circuits here, two, three, and four. Now some of these circuits are equivalent to each other. They have the same properties, and at least one of them is different. So maybe you want, might want to pause the video and have a little guess at which one's different. So if I was to go through these, um, sometimes it helps me for looking for parallel circuits is to look for junctions. So in this case, on the first one, I can see a junction there. Ah, there's a parallel. There's one path, and then there's another path. In the second circuit, there's a junction there. Ah, there's one path through one bulb, one path through another bulb. If I look at the third circuit, the electricity flows through one bulb and through the other bulb. They're on the same path. And then the third, fourth circuit, even though the electricity comes out, ah, there's a junction here, and it looks like it can go above, or it looks like it can go below. So... It turns out that the ones with the um, junctions in this case are all parallel and they are all equivalent to each other. The one with the cross on it is a series circuit that has different properties than the parallel circuits. So equivalent circuits you're allowed to redraw and make them easier. That last one a lot of people find very difficult, this parallel circuit. And I've said it's equivalent to a normal um, parallel circuit. So why don't you, if you're ever having to do an exam problem on this, just redraw it and deal with this. They're exactly the same in terms of the physical properties of the circuits. Because all there is, is a battery, and there's um, two bulbs, each in a separate path. This is exactly the same. There is a battery, and two bulbs, each in a separate path. So I, I implore you to um, read your circuits if you can, um, and make them easier for you to deal with in your, in your head. Alright, so when we get to more than two bulbs, we can combine these ideas as series and parallel. So here's three bulbs in one path, so that's a series circuit. Here's three bulbs, and they've each got their own path. That's a parallel, and it's got three paths. There's other combinations we could have as well. We could do three bulbs, um, and in this case, there's a parallel because there's two paths, and within one of the paths, there is a series section. Okay, So within that path, there's a series section. So that's a parallel, and then inside it is a series. This one here has all the electricity has to go through this one path, this one bulb, and then there's two paths. Um, so there's a parallel section after that. So what we call that is we call that a series circuit where the one bulb on the left is in series with a parallel section. Okay, so you can think of this as one big section and this one bulb is in series with that. The last thing we're going to talk about is short circuit. So a short circuit is when you get just bare wire um, and it's in parallel with a bulb. And what that happens is all the electricity passes through that wire. We'll talk about why that does it in future videos. But basically no electricity passes through the bulb. So what do I mean by that? I've got this um, circuit here. And here's my short. I have a parallel section of wire going around this bulb. So all the electricity flows around that bulb and none goes through that bulb. So that's equivalent to a one bulb circuit. Because this bulb does not light up at all. 
if the short bypasses every single bulb in the circuit, we call the whole thing a short circuit. So in this case here we have two bulbs and the, um, the wire bypasses everything, so electricity bypasses everything here, so that's the equivalent of this circuit, um, a battery connected to itself. Now this is very dangerous, a short circuit, because they can draw large, large amounts of current um, and a number of bad things can happen. So if you're ever building circuits, you want to stay away from short circuits. More complicated one. Am I shorting one bulb, am I shorting two bulbs, or am I shorting three bulbs? Well, it turns out here, um, all the electricity can choose to go through that easy path there, and so all three bulbs are shorted, and you just have a short circuit. That's equivalent to that as well. So a bit of a longer video on series and parallel. Let's go over what we've done here. Um, a series circuit is where bulbs share the same path, and a parallel is where there's multiple paths. So we've got the two circuits here, one series and one's parallel. Sometimes um, with really complicated circuits with more than two bulbs, you might want to redraw it as an equivalent circuit. Now an equivalent circuit might look different, but it has the same electrical properties. So I am always redrawing complicated ones to, to be easier for me to deal with. The last thing we looked at was a short. A short is where a piece of wire bypasses a bulb, um, and it's equivalent to the bulb not being there at all. Alright, so thanks for watching.